Hi guys, welcome to A for Autism. Today we are going to talk about how we can deal with hyperactivity. In many of the comments I have read that you know my child do not sit, they are not stable, they do not walk stably. Just because the sitting tolerance is poor, the concentration and focus is also poor. But specifically, kids do not sit on a table chair and complete a particular activity given by a therapist or a parent. This all happens because the child is hyperactive and there is no other reason that they cannot sit on table and chair. There are few examples I can give you when you can identify that your child is hyperactive for example your child would be doing vocal stimming walking without any aim or jumping or producing a lot of echolalia at a faster pace hyperactivity and self-stimulatory behavior or stimming actually relate to each other and the reason behind hyperactivity or soothing out that hyperactivity stimulation takes place Hyperactivity is only responsible for creating a less attention span and the focus also goes away which creates an attention deficit in the child. I posted a video on autism and emotions. I'll put the link in the description box. There I shared that how I have uh, improved the sitting tolerance of Viraj and there I have shared few tips. Viraj had immense hyperactivity. He used to produce a lot of vocal stimming, a lot of jumping, walking aimlessly and uh, you know the hyperactivity was only responsible for his lower attention span. The moment we used to identify that he is now being hyperactive we used to ask him to lie down on his back and we started giving back rubs and back massages with deep pressure which helped him calm down. We started noticing that he felt relief, his senses were regulated and that deep pressure massage helped him overcome his stress. After giving him massage we suddenly saw a change that he was more stable, more regulated and he used to sit he used to walk stably there was no hyperactivity in his body language hyperactivity is mostly when a child walks aimlessly from one room to another without any aim without any purpose they're just walking or they are jumping continuously generally kids without autism you will see a reduction in hyperactivity because a young child is more hyperactive as the age increases the hyperactivity lowers now same is with the attention span with the increasing age you'll see the attention span is also increasing but in autism without any work or without any intervention this does not change now you'll think how you can increase the attention span of your child or what activity you can do. But trust me, to increase the attention span, there is no such activity or a table chair activity that you would do to increase the attention span of your child. Rather, you need to work on the sitting of your child. Secondly, you need to work on the hyperactivity of your child. Hyperactivity cannot be overcome overnight so you need to work on it you need to be very persistent you need to be very regular if you try to be persistent regular and set up a routine for your child for physical workouts then you'll see a reduction in hyperactivity one of the trait that is overlooked is the frequent urination or is also a sign of hyperactivity if, you, if your child is peeing a lot or urinating a lot in short spans then it is also a symptom of hyperactivity Although it can be a sign of a good metabolism of your child as well, but as per one research which, which I read mentioned that frequent urination is a sign of hyperactivity. And of course, low attention span or not able to sit at one place, losing focus again and again are definitely the signs of hyperactivity. Some of us think that with the growing age, the attention span and hyperactivity will reduce on itself. But this approach is very incorrect and very wrong. We really need to put a lot of effort and, and work rigorously with our children to reduce their hyperactivity. A lot of determination is required. If a parent thinks that taking their children to the park once or twice a week will help reducing in their hyperactivity or making their sitting tolerance increase or attention span increase, then I think this is a wrong approach and this is not going to change anything because determination and consistency is the only and only key. If you are willing to see that change soon in your child, then that consistency has to be there. Without consistency, without regular efforts, without a routine, nothing is going to change. Many of the parents due to time crunch or financial issues are not able to provide therapies regularly to their children. But that's okay. If you are even if you are going once in a while to a therapy center then it is your duty to learn the therapies and apply those therapies regularly at home because child is living in that environment 24 into 7 and if you are applying those things 24 into 7 with the child 
then there is going to be a change a gradual change and after a month's time you will see that a lot of things changed with your consistent effort it is my humble request to each and every parent that please do not completely rely on the therapist itself because it is your duty as well and it is your primary duty to intervene with your child therapist is a good guide that will help you he is in your team the main effort has to come from the parents and only i remember a story i used to read in my school there was a spider who used to create a web and he used to fall down then again he used to climb up and create that web again whenever he was falling down and climbing up again there was some part of the web he used to complete before falling down so that is the only case with the consistent efforts you need to work regularly to see that change every day you are climbing that ladder step by step little pieces are getting completed and when you look back you will see how much you have achieved with these small baby steps you have been taking every single day if there is a crunch and if you do not have time do go and ask for help from your people from your partner from your relatives but do ask for help do not break that consistency again and again i am repeating this term consistency because i know i have been there and consistency has been the only key in bringing a change to my son's life so many of us are not sending our children to school the only reason is hyperactivity because we are afraid that we'll get a lot of complaints from the school that your child is not sitting they are not sitting so they are not learning they are not focusing they are disturbing the decorum of the class so i know we are not sending the school because of this fear only roaming around in the class can be bared by the teacher only in the play school or kindergarten but as the classes increase like first second and so on this hyperactivity will not be tolerated by the teachers and that is the only reason that why we are focusing so much on the sitting tolerance my son virat sitting was really very poor he could not even sit for a minute on a chair and do an activity so what we did was because he loved numbers and shapes we took the help of numbers and used some strategy to help him sit so me and my husband worked in pair i used to sit behind viraj and my husband used to sit in front and we used to tell viraj that we will only sit till i count 10 and then i gradually started increasing the numbers so with every number increasing the seconds were also increasing so i kept on increasing the number and i brought his sitting tolerance to 60 seconds that was 1 minute and this was purely idle sitting we were not doing ag- any activity but we were just asking him to sit till we count so this way our two targets were being completed one he was learning counting and second he was learning to sit idly for those many seconds or those many counts which we were repeatedly counting always use any favorite topic of your child and help him sit if your child likes numbers if your child likes shapes or letters then you can say that we will sit till a to z we will now here what's happening is your child is sitting your child is listening to you because you are choosing a topic of his interest so that is when your child starts listening to you because now he is engaged as you are using his favorite topic his favorite object or his favorite number letter or anything so here the connection here the bond starts beginning and here the child learns that what you are saying is consistent so he is also processing the language at the same time he is listening he is understanding and this also increases the receptive language as well listening will help increasing the receptive language receptive language once get strong you will see that your child will start following the commands as well and once the receptive language is there once the understanding is there you will see the verbal expression being followed after that yes it will take some time because receptive language definitely comes first but you will see that verbal expression will start developing as soon as the receptive language is strong whenever you exercise you get tired easily but what about our children they can't get drained out they do have super energy and super potential so that is the reason and especially kids with autism they do not get rid of this hyperactivity because they are super energetic 
Now here your intervention is required because there is super energy and you need to drain it out in a correct manner so your child can regulate his senses and he can get rid of that hyperactivity get stable to drain out hyperactivity walking is the world best exercise that you can practice because when you walk the lower foot of your leg gets a lot of pressure which helps in a good circulation of blood and do read what i have mentioned here as blood circulation or exercises help in releasing dopamine hormone which is responsible for good mood also walking is a best practice because it creates discipline in your child he is not roaming here and there he is actually walking stably with you and this practice helps in creating a lot of attention lot of patience lot of stability in your child energy is getting drained out in a proper manner so do go for walks with your child because it is a must that your child should be involved in some kind of physical workout to drain out this hyperactivity no other table chair activity is going to help you in reducing the hyperactivity and you know this is a best practice because you are in nature you are out with your child there is a time to bond with your child you are also doing a physical workout with your child so a lot of things are happening at once and actually there is no other table chair activity except a workout that will help your child in reducing the hyperactivity and this is a very basic thing which i am telling you you must be knowing but what happens is when we are under pressure under stress or when we are worried about something these basic things do not click in our mind see your therapist is only confined to a room and in that room sitting on a table chair hyperactivity cannot be reduced so i know it's difficult what i'm saying that every day you have to go for walks for 3 km or for 30 minutes 15 minutes but i know it's easier said than done but it has to be there because nobody else none of the therapists none of the uh, you know doctor or anyone else is going to take that step but you only you as a parent have to go out with your child walk and help him learn this basic life skill that he has to walk with stability without holding your hand in future times and yes definitely hyperactivity is actually related to a lot of things if there is a reduction in hyperactivity you will see sitting tolerance is getting increased attention is getting increased learning is getting better so yes understanding hyperactivity the title of this video actually means that hyperactivity once reduced you will see a lot of good behavior in your child you can also use fish oil to reduce hyperactivity it is actually a great supplement fish oil is like a tranquilizer it sets a good mood there is a dha component in fish oil which is actually responsible for brain development for vision development increasing attention span and also the focus so you can use any brand's fish oil i use nordic naturals you can go to my amazon store the link is in the description box and you can see the supplements that we are using so nordic naturals is one of the top brands you can also use chamomile tea chamomile tea is again responsible for reducing hyperactivity also responsible for inducing sound sleep so half an hour before bedtime you can give chamomile tea to your child and chamomile tea has lot of benefits you can give your child chamomile tea from 6 months onward it relieves the pain it relieves the hyperactivity it helps in sound sleep it also relaxes the nerves so lot of stability comes in with the usage of chamomile tea viraj had very poor sleep he used to wake up a lot of times at night and he never had sound sleep he used to wake up a lot and that actually disturbed our routine as well as parents because we had to work in the day time and and we always felt tired our brains were getting impacted our behaviors were getting impacted we were not able to perform any activity with him because he was not sleeping at night so we were not sleeping at night so that was the reason i introduced chamomile tea and it actually helped in a sound sleep viraj sleeping habits or you can say sleeping issues started getting resolved with walking and with the usage of chamomile tea since children regain a lot of energy with a little sleep so ensure that only 8 hours of sleep is provided to your child and those 8 hours should be a sound sleep 
try to avoid midday sleeps of your child only follow a night pattern only follow a simple routine keep the bed time same as usual do not increase or decrease the sleep timings so for example if you are following a 10:30 pm bed time then do follow it every day also before sleeping if you can go ahead and take your children for walking for about 30 minutes 15 minutes if your child is quite young if he's two and a half then 15 to 30 minutes is fine if your child is little elder for say 4 years old or above 5 then at least for an hour you should go for a walk with your child also do try chamomile tea lots of parents have reported they have been benefited and it's 100% safe from 6 months onward your babies can be given it when the water is introduced to your child so there is no harm they are very pure they are dry flowers of chamomile and you can just boil them in water and give them to your child after straining it so there is no worry if you are giving it to your child there is no harm no side effect viraj never used to take chamomile tea easily so i had to mix some kind of syrup or his favorite drink and mix that water in that drink so you can try that ways introduce that ways and gradually you can you know give it sip by sip saying that it's a medicine or however you want to give because it is beneficial so whatever it takes it has to be in the body of your child so you can try some people told me that they gave it as iced tea so you can also do like that in summers you can cool it in the fridge you can add some jaggery powder some lemon and you can give that to your child as well if they like the taste some people advise you know uh, that when your child is sleeping go ahead and go to sleep at that time but what happens is when your child is sleeping in the day time for say 2 hours or 3 hours your target will be to complete household chores or run errands or do whatever work is pending in those 3 hours so what i'm trying to explain here is sleep is pretty important and hyperactivity is directly associated with the sleep so if the child is hyperactive the sleeping issues are going to persist do you know if your child is not getting sleep properly he is sleep deprived regression will start happening body starts eating brain cells if your child is not having a proper sleep memory is never going to build up adding to it i just want to mention that you can also use lavender essential oil you can take two drops of that oil and rub it on the spine of your child so that will help inducing a good night sleep lavender oil has lot of benefits i have put a screenshot here i'll put a link in the description box of the lavender oil that i used and i am currently using with viraj so you can also use that these little supplements and the combination of walking combination of workouts is going to help reduce the hyperactivity also before sleeping you can give massage to your child a full body massage a head massage is going to help in calming their nerves circulation of blood will get better and a good massage also induces a good sleep so if you remember when infants are there and you massage them and give a hot water bath they sleep for longer hours so this is actually very relaxing you can do that Now Viraj sits in the class I receive a lot of pictures he sits stably he works there and he's involved in the crowd he sits in the round table I feel really very happy earlier he never used to sit he was roaming in the class but few uh, steps which we have taken in reducing his hyperactivity have really helped him in school as well and his sitting tolerance is actually increasing day by day and because viraj sitting tolerance is increasing so we can see that he can sit and eat his complete meal he does not get up in between he does a lot of activities which involve table chair and whenever a task is given he does sit there idle sitting is increasing very slowly but yes things are happening and i can say and i can also assure you as well every single baby step that we take every day contributes to our goals i think this video has been really long but i just wanted to share every bit of experience regarding hyperactivity because it is a main challenge that we face every day because our children are struggling because of the hyperactivity only and if you work on that hyperactivity i think many issues will get sorted out so if there is any other question that you have regarding hyperactivity do comment in and i will reply or you can ask anything that i have not covered here i will also elaborate that in next video 
so do let me know you can also drop me a chat on instagram to connect with me and i will take a little bit time but i'll ensure to reply you so till we meet next time take care of yourself and have a good day bye